Once you have logged into your Google Cloud Platform account, go to Compute Engine and click into VM Instances. If this is your first VM instance, then click on the Create button in the middle of the VM Instances page. If you already have an instance, you will find this button on the top menu bar. When creating your instance, the first thing you should do is give your instance an awesome name. And then you need to select a zone, otherwise known as a data center, nearest to your target users. Under Machine Type, you can select one of the Google Cloud Platform predefined machine types for your instance. For this demo, we will be using the default N1 Standard 1 machine. This has one CPU core and 3.75 GB of memory. That's more than adequate for our needs. If none of the predefined machine types match your requirements, there's no need to worry. You can create your own custom type by clicking on the Customize link. By default, Google installs Debian 9 as the system image. The RunCloud platform requires Ubuntu 16.04, so we're going to need to change that. In the boot disk box, click Change and then select Ubuntu 16.04 from the pop-up window. We also need to change our boot disk type. Choose SSD Persistent Disk to use a faster solid state drive. You can also customize your disk size from anywhere between 10 GB and 65 GB. For this demo, 20 GB will be more than enough. Click Select to close the box. Finally, in the firewall section, make sure you tick both the allow HTTP traffic and allow HTTPS traffic checkboxes. This is important. If you forget to check these, your Google Cloud server will not be accessible through the internet. With everything configured, all you need to do now is click the create button and Google will provision your instance. By default, Google Cloud instances use an ephemeral external IP address. This IP address may change after every reboot, so we need to change it and assign a static IP address to our instance. This way we can connect it to the RunCloud platform. From the left hand sidebar, go to VPC Network and then select External IP Addresses from the pop-up menu. In the External Addresses control panel, locate the Type drop-down selector. It will currently be set to Ephemeral. We need to change this to Static to reserve the current IP address for our instance. When you click on Static in the drop-down selector, a pop-up modal will appear. You need to provide a name for this static IP and can optionally leave a description. When you're finished, click Reserve. Google will take a few seconds to reserve your IP address. Once it's completed, the next step is to configure the firewall. From the left-hand sidebar, go to Firewall Rules under VPC Network. Then, in the Firewall Rules page, click Create Firewall Rule from the top horizontal bar menu. In order to allow the RunCloud platform to manage your Google Cloud server, we need to open the RunCloud control port in the Google Cloud Platform firewall. Provide a name for your firewall rule. I suggest RunCloud port and leave a description. Leave the network set to default and the priority set to 1000. Make sure the direction of traffic is set to ingress and the action on match is allow. In the targets drop down selector, choose all instances in the network. Leave the source filter as IP ranges and set the source IP range to 0, 0, 0.0.0.0 0 .0 forward slash 0. This allows access from any IP address. Finally, under Protocols and Ports, select Specified Protocols and Ports and enter the RunCloud Control Port TCP colon 34210. Then click Create to create the firewall rule. 
you should now see your new firewall rule appear in the list of firewall rules in the Cloud Platform Control Panel. Now we have created our instance and configured the firewall correctly, we need to connect it to RunCloud. First, go to your VM instances list in your Google Cloud Platform and copy your instance's external IP address. Next, log in to your RunCloud dashboard at manage.runcloud.io and click the big blue button to connect a new server. This will open a window to connect a server. In this window, you need to name your server and enter the server IP address that you just copied. You can also optionally enter the server provider. The server name can only contain letters, numbers and spaces. Once complete, click the big Connect This Server button at the bottom and RunCloud will generate a RunCloud Platform Installer script and also provide instructions on its use. Copy this script to your clipboard. Now return to your Google Cloud Platform console, locate your server under VM Instances and click on the SSH under Connect. This will launch the Google Cloud Platform web-based SSH client and log you into your server. It may take a few moments to transfer SSH keys and make the connection, but once it does you will be greeted by a terminal interface. We need to execute the RunCloud installer script as root user, but Google hasn't provided us with a root password. Don't worry, we can switch to root user by issuing the sudo space hyphen s command. After that, you can paste and execute the installer command as root user. Sit back and enjoy the show. The installer will now install all of the components of the RunCloud platform and you can also check progress in your RunCloud dashboard. Once installation is complete, you will be provided with your MySQL database root password, username and username password in the console window. It is very important you keep a record of them. Now, when you return to your RunCloud dashboard, you will see that your server is connected. You can now manage every aspect of your server using the RunCloud user interface and in-depth feature set. It is time to deploy your first web application. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them in the chat application or in the comments below.